Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair Hey everybody, I'm getting ready for Caroline's um, her birthday supper tonight. Levi's put a hair band in my hair. They're over here. Uh, I'm frying up cube steak. I'm not going to share your, with you that recipe. I've done it before and I'll link it down below. I'll link the video down below. Um, but I wanted to show you one of my sweet viewers sent me this thing and it's a meat hook, turner, flipper, whatever. What a game changer this is. I love this thing. So anyway, I'm going to bring you back at the end of supper, but I'm also going to share with you the fried squash that we're going to have. So I just wanted to jump on here and show you this. I got two of them. I got a long one like for an outside grill and this one for in here. It is absolutely amazing. On my cube steak, I'm only just browning the outside sorry hold on I'm actually just browning the outside and um, so I just flip it real quick and then I stick it in a crock pot so I'll link that video down below so you can go watch hey everyone so today is Caroline's birthday and we are celebrating it and yes I have a cabinet door open um, we are celebrating it today and uh, the main thing I'm going to share, share with you is my fried squash in this video. But I thought I would go ahead and share with you the rest of the meal as well. Um, let me turn the camera around. Okay, in here we have my cube steak. I fried it and browned it. And now I have it just finished and cooking up in the crock pot there. Over here I have... A pot of potatoes and I just turned them on some green beans going my stove is a disaster from where I fried the um, cube steak earlier I have some um, self rising flour ready for my squash and I wanted to show you what I do with my squash um, it's fresh out of the garden and I just slice it and I slice mine fairly thin we like ours pretty thin but I have multiple thicknesses in here um, there's one a little bit thicker okay and so you're wondering what this white stuff is I just give a light like it's not a lot like just a splash or two of buttermilk mainly just to wet it um, and so I have it ready I'm not quite ready to fry it um, so I have it just ready. Um, it is gnat season around here. I have gnats everywhere. <laughs> so um, I do have it covered and I'll be frying it in this pan here. I get asked a lot what this pan is and I believe it's Cafalon. Yeah, it's a Cafal, oops, a Cafalon pan. And I fried my cube steak in that and I will fry my squash in that just because it's probably the biggest one I have and I can get quite a bit in there um, so I'm getting ready to make biscuits in just a little bit we're still a little early but I did want to show you what I have done so far I've got out uh, butter one for our biscuits the other one for our mashed potatoes we're gonna have mashed potatoes and so yeah that's about all we're having tonight, but it's going to be a delicious, wonderful supper. So I will bring you back when it's time to fry up the squash. Okay, everybody, I'm getting ready to get my squash going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to salt it really well in here. And I'm going to pepper it. Okay. 
And I'm just gonna take my hands and swirl it around. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper in the flour. All right, so I'm just gonna do this and then we'll be ready to fry in just a little bit. I've got about uh, a quarter of an inch, maybe a half an inch of oil in my frying pan there. And I'm just gonna be sure these are salted well and we'll salt and pepper my flour some and I will bring you back in just a little bit. All right, so I'm not ready to get started yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and drop in, and I try to separate them, um, pieces of squash in here. And we're going to, you know, squish it around. Squish it around, is that a word? <laughs> um, you know, we're going to, and I, and I do need to shake off the excess um, buttermilk. Like, I have a little too much right here. I'll shake that off. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And then I'll just kind of move it around and make room for more. All right. I'm going to do this and I'll bring you back when we get to frying. Okay. It just started a downpour real quick. So let me show you what I'm doing. I have um, the, the buttermilk. I, I kind of drip it off and then I press the flour onto it uh, really good. I have a plate here that I've already done and it's ready to go in the fryer. Um, so I just press that flour on and as soon as my grease gets hot, we'll get to frying. It just started pouring down rain. So I'm assuming the family will be here shortly um, and, and the way I test my grease is I just sling a little of the flour that's on my fingers over into the grease. Um, I get it pretty hot. I'm going to get some paper towels on my platter and we're going to get ready to get to frying. It's not quite hot enough, so we're just going to let it go for a little bit. And this is going to be so good. Hey guys, while we're waiting, a lot of people um, add cornmeal, but I do not. That is just our preference. I don't even add cornmeal to my fried okra. I only use self-rising flour and seasoning, salt and pepper. If I was going to add anything else, it would be a little bit of cornstarch or a little bit of bacon powder. But we do not add cornmeal, and that's just personal, absolute personal preference. If you want, oops, my goodness. If you wanted oatmeal, I mean, um, cornmeal, you could definitely, by all means, use it. I'm gonna bring this over here just so I can pat them down one more time. I think we're going pretty good, so I'm gonna start laying them in there. I hear somebody pulling in not quite hot enough. I'll bring you back just as soon as it is. Okay, everybody, you can hear that nice little sizzling going. And if, if I'm pulling off some of the flour, I'm just kind of rubbing it right back in there. Uh, I don't normally prepare mine ahead of time like I did tonight, but I'm frying so much I needed to go ahead and have some flour. So I'm just quickly throwing it back in the flour just just briefly. Uh oh, that means Caroline and the boys are here. Okay guys, I will show you what this looks like when I pull them out. I just fry a little bit, get it golden brown on each side. And um, so yeah, we'll see in a little bit and we'll just basically show you our meal. I'll get Caroline fixing her plate. I'll get Caroline tasting her cake and so we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, everybody, I'm getting the first few out. Um, my family likes ours pretty crispy and dark, but I ha I'll get a few more darker as we go. But I'm getting the first few out, and they are gonna be so good. 
Take a show them the plate over here. I'm sure Bryant will taste one. Yep, see, there's went that hand. A little hot. <laughs> are they hot? They are a yeah, hot. they just come out of the hot grease. The grease is hot enough? Yep, the grease is hot enough. All right, so we'll be back in a little bit. I'm just going to keep frying, and we'll be back when I get supper on the bar and Caroline fixes her plate. She'll be the honorary plate fixer tonight. And taste tester. And taste tester. Okay, everybody, over there is the squash. Bryant has helped me and is coming in here, and he is he's spicing up a little bit of the squash. Emerald Lagasse. Bam! Bam! <laughs> he's adding a little bit of cayenne to a few of the last ones. So we got just a, I think maybe one or two more in the flour. But, um,. Pretty much, we are about done. We're going to keep these separate. We're just going to try them, see if we like them. Never done it before. Never added cayenne before. But I want you to look at that plate of fried okra over there. Fried squash. I meant fried squash. Yeah. I keep saying okra. We hadn't had fried okra. Before. Not yet. Yeah. And we didn't grow okra in the garden. No. Nope. So we're going to have to go get some. So we're going to give this, hey, as Emerald says, got to kick it up a notch. Kick it up a notch. Kick it up a notch. So that's what we're doing right here with these. We'll tell you what they taste like. All right, guys, the green beans. I'm ready to pull them over here. Here is our cube steak and gravy. Mashed potatoes and the biscuits are in the oven. Let's see what they look like. Oh, they're about ready. About ready. Getting ready to eat. And look over here, sitting over there. The birthday girl. The birthday girl. How old are you? 30. 30 years old. Thirty and old. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll bring back a little bit. Alright everybody, Bryant is buttering his buns. Buttering the biscuits. Buttering the biscuits. Don't they look beautiful? Carolyn, how's the cayenne? Delicious. It's a little hot on the back end of it, but it's good. What about just the fried squash in general? Top notch. My Top favorite. Top notch. Did y'all hear that? And this is fresh garden squash, but you don't have to have. You can buy squash at the grocery store, and it'll be just as good. So, um, so good. This is how we do it. Only self-rising flour, no cornmeal and salt and pepper and a little bit of cayenne on that plate over there we'll see you at the table all right caroline's gonna fix her plate in just a minute all right what you, you fix baby this is my favorite meal her favorite meal and i believe she carries that same sentiment as her dad what this is his favorite oh. meal, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a big biscuit today. And I guess since we're all family, just use fingers right here with the squash. I've been using fingers since I came out of the <laughs> I, There for a while, I thought, I'm not going to get any done because it's, I kept frying forever. And it just looked like the same amount on the plate. And um, it's because people kept nibbling. People, you mean? Let me see your plate. Oh. Look at there, beautiful. All right, everybody. How was this country supper? So good. Delicious. What about the fried squash? Delicious. Mm -hmm. And all right, some of y'all have said you wanted to see Mr. Isaac. Hey. So what did you think of the supper? It was delicious. It's my what, favorite. What about the fried squash? Amazing. Amazing. Did you like the cayenne in it? Yeah, it was good. It, 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 it didn't hit you to the very end. Yep, the very, very end. end. All right, and of course, we got to hear from our, I the like, original taste tester. I liked it all. Everything was perfecto. Good old country supper. Yep. There was only one thing missing. What? The cake. The cake. <laughs> it's coming. No, really, what did you say was missing? A cup of coffee and cake. A cup of coffee and cake. That's coming. Okay, everyone. Everybody loved Caroline's supper, and it was absolutely delicious. Her cake was amazing. It was delicious. So, and we have eaten on it at two family meals. It is so good. 
So, all right. Thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Hey, and you don't want to miss tomorrow's video. Tomorrow, we are sharing how the family reacted to when Bryant was going through his fear and anxiety about seven or eight years ago. Um, we walked through some really dark times, and we've heard Bryant's side of the story. This will be mine, Caroline, and Isaac's perspective on it all. So don't miss tomorrow's video. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.